Linda Valentine, and I was the voice of Sailor Moon. Yeah, who else would have to do the voice of Sailor Moon except for Sailor Moon herself? Come on, you guys. What are you, crazy? Moon Cosmic Power! So what was one of my favorite memories uh, doing Sailor Moon? It's funny. I would say that my favorite memory was also kind of my most unfavorite memory. They kind of melded together because what it was was when I was doing Sailor Moon, we had to do obviously a lot of screaming, a lot of fight scenes, and when you're doing that, you're using your full body. So you're, you know, when you're getting hit, like you've got to really suck your full gut in. And in doing that, it really takes all of your energy, it takes all of your vocal uh, powers to be able to do that, and you lose your voice really easily. So we would save all the fight scenes to the very end of the day, and then for like an hour or so, I would just fight with myself inside a studio. I would get hit, I would fall down, I would fall down the stairs, I would splat out, and I loved doing that because it was so much fun. You know how crazy Serena is, you know, when her legs just spread out, and she's like, Woo! So I was doing all of that kind of stuff at the end of the day, and it was really fun, but I would walk out of there feeling beaten up for sure. How did it feel to be recognized as Sailor Moon? Uh, it was kind of, I would say it was like a dream come true. It's funny, I didn't, I didn't think, up until last year, I honestly didn't think anybody really cared. That they were sort of like, eh, as long as the cartoon got done, I don't really care about anything. And then I was asked to go to a convention, to Anime North, and I didn't know what to expect when I got there. I knew fans would be there, but I, I sort of thought, ah, who knows, they might just throw rotten fruit at me, or I don't know, I can't be sure about that. And so when I got there, and immediately the fans just opened their arms to me, and they gave me so much love, it was overwhelming, and I didn't know what to do with it. I honestly didn't. I was, I would be shaking. At the end of the day, I would just be going, Smart for once, I actually thought to myself, I have to take this love and the energy that they're giving me, and I have to accept it and enjoy it, and and and, and be powerful from it. And I tell you, to this day, every single time I meet a fan and they give me a hug, I feel like I could lift up the entire world. That's how great it is being Sailor. Moon. Am I surprised by the fan base for Sailor Moon? In a word. Yes, I am surprised. I was shocked by the fan base. I, I had no idea. I knew people liked Sailor Moon. I had no idea the commitment that they have put behind, inside themselves, towards this show. I had no idea, and I was shocked by it. And again, like, somebody had told me all those years ago when I was voicing the voice of Sailor Moon that I would be standing here today still seeing new fans, seeing fans from the past, I don't think I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have believed it. In fact, I probably would have laughed at that. Really? Really? So, every single time I meet a new fan, literally every single time, I'm surprised. And it, it warms my heart. So what are my thoughts on the new anime dub, Sailor Moon? Well, to be honest with you, I really haven't heard anything. And you, you kind of wish that you know, I'd heard something, you know, like I, I, I hear I hear all this stuff about it, but I really honestly know nothing about it, and I can't wait to see it. I really can't. I think this is something that the fans have been waiting for for so long. I think it's way past due, and um, I think it's going to be great. Fingers crossed it's going to be great. I hope they find some really, really good actresses. Really good. Like, they got to be really good. Really good. You know what I'm saying? Really, really good. <laughs> to make it worth a while. But anyways, the fans deserve this, and so I'm happy. Do I have any pro projects coming up that I want to share? Sure. Uh, right now, I'm just finishing off the first season of George of the Jungle. It's a new animated series, and I am this crazy scientist called Magnolia, who is just like, woo! She doesn't know what's going on half the time. In fact, they even said to me, maybe she's not actually a scientist, she just thinks she's a scientist, which I kind of love even more. And she just goes crazy. She's always yelling and screaming, or else she's just like quirky and, and odd. And she's a lot of fun to play. So that's going to be a great George of the Jungle. Watch for it. Thank you so much for having me on. I love answering the questions at any time. Thanks, Sailor Moon fans.